The Marvel and DC Cinematic Universes are massive and ever-expanding, and certain actors and actresses are so well-known that they end up playing roles in both series. Now we're presenting the top 10 actors and actresses who are both in Marvel and DC films. Before we get further, be sure to sub to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Alright, let's get to it. At number 10, Halle Berry, Storm and Catwoman. It's no secret that this Academy Award winner's version of The Princess of Plunder didn't exactly go over well. She was sensual and had more cat jokes than you could poke a stick at, but only her outfits and whipping abilities got her any attention. Fortunately, her Storm portrayal is significantly more well-liked. Storm became a strong-willed heroine who could easily face down any of the adversaries she confronts as a secondary leader of the X-Men who can conjure up a thunderstorm in a matter of seconds. At number 9, Hugo Weaving, The Red Skull, and V. He played Captain America's mortal enemy, The Red Skull, in which he combined all of the campiness of a comic book villain with the real-life fear of a Nazi war criminal. On the other hand of the scale is a masked freedom fighter, V, who just uses swords and some excellent wordplay to battle against a totalitarian London. The two characters are so dissimilar that it's difficult to choose between them. At number 8, Chris Evans, Human Torch, slash Captain America, Jake Jensen. Chris Evans made his impact on the superhero scene as the fiery Human Torch in the 2005 Fantastic Four film, long before the MCU was born. When he was granted Captain America's shield, he poured him fresh life into the classic character and one of the best modern representations of any superhero. But, in between Marvel films, he went to DC to play a different type of soldier, Jake Jensen in The Losers. The computer expert on this covert ops team was a departure, a nerdy later role, and Evans did it brilliantly. At number 7, Natalie Portman, Jane Foster, and Evie Hammond. The Guy Fawkes masked anarchist and the God of Thunder would not have been able to succeed without her. So how could we resist putting this lady on both of Marvel and DC in the spotlight? Miss Portman played Evie Hammond, a woman deprived of her dignity who discovered the will to prevent corruption. Then as Jane Foster, she juggled the roles of an independent crazy astrophysicist and the lady who wins Thor's heart. In contrast to other superhero films' love interests that have fallen flat, this Academy Award winner managed to nail it all the way through. At number 6, Idris Elba, Heimdall, and Roque. Most Marvel fans would recognize this outstanding British actor as Asgard's Keeper of the Nine Realms, who sees everything. Idris Elba played Heimdall, a stoic, cool guy, who protected the Rainbow Bridge and upheld Asgardian laws. He wasn't hesitant to throw down on occasion, despite being a stickler for the rules, and proved that he is more than deserving of his position. He also appeared in the DC property The Losers in 2010. Roque is still a valuable essay to his valuable Black Operations members as explosive specialists, at least until the money is involved. At number 5, Ben Affleck, Daredevil, Batman. There's no denying that Charlie Cox's Daredevil in Netflix's smash hit series is the best version of the character. Still, Oscar winner Ben Affleck did play Daredevil in a film that exists, and that's the kindest thing we can say about it. Ironically, as the newest actor had to take on the mantle of Batman, he would channel the pain and degree of brutality into another legendary character. Despite the fact that his debut film divided moviegoers, supporters agreed that Affleck's Darker Dark Knight was a welcome addition. He undoubtedly dispatches criminals with the same ferocity as the Bat. At number 4, Michael Fassbender, Magneto and Burke. We wouldn't change a thing about Sir Ian McKellen's performances as the Master of Magnetism. Nonetheless, Michael Fassbender's portrayal of a much younger Eric Lenser has received widespread appreciation. His anger against mankind clashes with his strong relationship with Charles Xavier as damaged and fragile and mutant. It's easy to see how he may become the grizzled, prejudiced Magneto we know and love. His portrayal of the crazed Irish assassin Burke in Jonah Hex may not have been spectacular, but it was certainly one of the finer portions of the film. At number 3, James Marsden, Cyclops and Richard White. Whatever your opinions about the X-Men franchise overall, James Marsden's performance of the Cyclops, the ex-leader, and men surely nailed this ordinary extraordinary man. It's all there from his ardent love for Jean to his intense rivalry with Wolverine and the mastery of his optic blasts. He was clearly able to pour that experience into his portrayal of Richard White in Superman Returns. He manages to be a hero in his own humble way, at Lois Lane's spouse. At number two, 
Ryan Reynolds. Deadpool and Green Lantern. We're not claiming that Mr. Reynolds' characterization of Green Lantern was a comic book disaster. After all, it's clear that he gave his all to the role of Hal Jordan. However, it is evident that this Canadian actor was born to play Deadpool. In his solo film, he slew it as the Merc with the Mouth, shattering multiple walls, cursing his head off, and murdering a lot of people. His performance was so excellent that it made us forget about anything DC related he did at least. It would if he didn't keep making fun of it. And at number one, Tommy Lee Jones, Colonel Chester Phillips, and Two-Face. You can probably tell that superhero movies are not this Academy Award winner's preferred genre. However, his distinctive directness lends itself nicely to them, particularly in the role of Colonel Chester Phillips in Captain America. This also makes his DC appearance puzzling. It's safe to assume that these specific entries in the K Crusader and First Avengers franchises would be unrecognizable without Mr. Jones. Well guys, that's it for this video. What'd you think about it? Let us know in the comments below. If you're new to our channel, be sure to sub and ring that bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.